A few months ago, I went to a friend's house and stayed around for the day at his residence in a village. We've been friends since grade 10 and have seen one another's children grow up. Because of how well we get along, we are able to be completely honest with each other. His eldest kid, that was nearly 11 years old, had constantly been complaining about his younger sibling that day. I recall my friend's response but not the facts. Unfortunately, he enjoys teasing his children, suddenly, he begins singing a little song to his son in front of me about he's very weak, psychologically incompetent, etc. Before he could continue, I interrupted him, what the shit is your problem? He glanced at me as like he had no idea what he was doing and then replied, well, I'm really kidding. My child is already aware of this fact. No, he doesn't, I told them to stop treating youngsters like mini-adults. Because of this, children are totally disrupted by negative emotions and lack the mental strength to see the broader context. Make sure your kid is never embarrassed in front of others. Embarrassment in front of others can leave permanent marks on a kid's psyche and alter his or her development in ways that you and I cannot anticipate. So why am I making such a forceful statement? Let me tell you the science behind this. Before the age of 17, a kid lacks the PRE frontal competence to put things in context and to be able to fully handle the feelings of being teased. However, being weak, a kid is not powerless. The humiliation will cause him extreme mental and emotional suffering, and he will vow never to let it happen again. Next, the brain will create an unconscious psychological mechanism to help individuals cope with the situation. I'll provide a practical example to illustrate my point. I'm telling you a story of a boy. Andrew, the youngest of four children, is so kind that he even sat on his mother's knees during a family gathering to tell her he loved her. But mother had a rough day, a rough life, actually, and love hasn't been helping for her, so she pulls her child away and tells Andrew, real men don't say things like that. Pulling him hurt him, and Andrew got confused. Though his mind quickly absorbs new information, he quickly realizes that showing emotion may be extremely harmful, like intense pain. Since that time, Andrew has lost the ability to declare his love for a lady who is unable to do so. In its place, he constantly shifts between relationships. When things start to become serious, he always seems to shy away from having to talk about his emotions. He runs away from life, but he also craves emotional connection, so he makes up for it in other ways. He constantly shifts between relationships. Despite not being able to communicate it himself, he wants to be loved. The use of this compensatory mechanism can easily lead to addictive patterns of behavior. And that is more root of all sorts of addictions, like workaholism, shopaholism, drunkenness, narcotics, gambling, etc. Do you really want to take that chance with your children? Definitely, you will not. Embarrassments in public like this are sometimes referred to as social traumas in society. Bullying in its new online version, cyberbullying, may be part of social traumas for people over the age of 17. We don't need to come up with new ways to make up for being embarrassed in public anymore because our brains can handle it. The issue is by the time we're 17 years old, we've all had our fair share of minor social traumas. We all have ways to make up for past mistakes. In most cases, we don't even notice them, and they don't do any serious damage anyhow. An adult may not think twice about a little social trauma, but from a child's perspective, it can have terrible impacts. But not all of the time. It really depends on the kid and how they take the guilt. But don't give humiliation a chance to destroy your child's life. Life has already been stressful. There is, in all honesty, no purpose in dragging about unnecessary weight. I am hopeful that you will not mistake like that. Stay connected.